Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Christmas tier tray for my kitchen. I'm also going to share with you a weekly grocery haul. Not quite Thanksgiving haul yet, so stay tuned for that. And after that, I'm going to share with you just some updated photos of my home since the last time you've seen it. And make sure before you leave, hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So let's get started on the Christmas tear tray for the kitchen. So let's go. I've laid out all my options that I'm considering to use for the Christmas tier tray for the kitchen. And as you'll recognize, all these items came from Target Dollar Spot or Hobby Lobby. Except for the glam garland beads that I made here. Um, I did those myself, but the beads and the tassels did come from Hobby Lobby. Uh, let me show you how I made those. So I know you guys have seen the farmhouse beads that people are making into the garland. Well, I decided to do a spin on these farmhouse beads and make a glam garland using these beads here that I got from Hobby Lobby, along with some tassels, some silver tassels. Uh, they came for it in a pack. I don't remember what the price was. Ah, $2.49 for the tassels. And the beads were on sale. They were normally $6.99 for a string and they were 50% off. So I paid like $3 for each string. There. Now that I got them on a jump ring, I don't know if you can see that, but I ran it through both of the loops because I don't really want to use these. These are most likely going to come off, but I've got to get them together as one, and I did that. So now I got to lock it. This chrome tray I got a couple seasons ago from Home Goods, and this chrome charger I got a couple seasons ago from Target. I'm just going to use the chrome tray down here in the bottom. It just kind of anchors it a little better uh, and give it a little more size. I also used a little uh, Dollar Tree, I, I think it's a napkin ring that I got a few seasons ago from the Dollar Tree. I just thought that was cute and I just thought that I'd sit it in there because it looks more holiday-ish to me. <laughs> so let's get started with the first item. I'm gonna anchor my tray with joy. I love these wooden block signs. I think they're perfect and I think they're absolutely cute in small spaces. I also have a Christmas tree here that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, it's too big to go on the bottom. so. I'm going to have to sit that up here in the top as well. And then I'm going to use my little snowman cup. I got this from Hobby Lobby and I got some candy canes for it from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that over here so the handle can stick out like that. And I just thought that was cute. And my little Christmas puppy, I got this from, I either got it from Target or I got it from Michael's. I'm not sure which one, but I'm going to put him right there. So my reindeer is definitely going to need to go on the top. I'm going to move this over to this side. Then I got this frosted candle from the dollar spot and it's called uh, Magic in the Air. I thought that was really pretty. And the gray goes with my kitchen. I don't 
don't know what the, the throw is. I've never purchased uh, one of these candles before. I don't know what the notes are either. I don't know if it gives you that. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to turn my doggy this way. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to use my dashing through the snow ornament that I got from Target. I just thought that was so stinking cute. And then I've got my little uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer snow globe that's going to go in here. I'm, I think I'm going to sit him next to my snowman. I like it. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. Okay guys, I'm back from the store. I'm going to share with you what I picked up. I got some paper plates. I got the 10 inch Dixie plates. I like these the best. We use them quite often. Um, I do have regular dishes, but we don't use them every day. I'll admit we use the paper plates every day. I got some almond windmill cookies. My husband enjoys those. It's a throwback to childhood. <laughs> we got some uh, tasty cake coffee cupcakes. Uh, my husband and my son enjoy these. That's not my zhuzh, but they like them. I also picked up some um, kettle mesquite barbecue potato chips. Now, this is my zhuzh. You're in my lane now. The uh, kettle barbecue potato chips and the chili cheese corn chips. That's my thing. I like those quite a bit. I picked up some lemons. I use lemons every day uh, in my ginger and lemon tea in the evenings. I picked up some more Parmesan cheese crisps. These things are so good topped on your salad. Uh, we eat a lot of salads, so I go through these quite often. Um, I like them quite a bit. Great on your salad. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. Uh, picked up some cereal, um, Banana Nut Crunch. I don't eat a lot of cereal, but when I do, Banana Nut Crunch is my go-to cereal. And then we got the family size um, Fruit Loops this time. We usually get, um, what is it? Um, Tony the Tiger. What is it? Frosted Flakes. We usually get Frosted Flakes. This time we got Fruit Loops. And then I got some honey. Um, I re-upped on my honey for my ginger, lemon, and honey tea in the evenings. The Martinelli's, um, the sparkling apple cider. We usually have that uh, on the holidays during dinner. So I picked up an extra one just to have in the pantry. But like I said, we usually have those on the holidays. Um, I also re-upped on some ketchup. I was completely out of ketchup. I was completely out of ketchup, so I did get some more. Um, I picked up a can of uh, corned beef. I'm going to put this in my pantry, my second pantry. I got two boxes of herb chicken couscous. We eat those a lot. I enjoy it and it's so quick and easy to make. Uh, couscous is a pasta, if you didn't know. I enjoy it. I picked up some cheese, some American cheese, and then I also picked up some Parmesan cheese. I love the shaved Parmesan cheese. It goes fantastic on your um, salads or if you're making some sort of a pasta, especially with like a bolognese sauce. Excellent. I got some double cheddar cheese because we're too lazy to shred the block. So we buy Sargento. <laughs> um, I picked these up because this is the power of suggestion. I saw the ad on television for the wavy Pringles potato chips. So I bought the sweet and spicy barbecue to give them a try. Um, I also picked up some salsa. We go through this almost like water. I love this. The Herdez brand is excellent. I got some more bread. 
I also picked up some ground beef. I picked up a couple ground beefs because I'm going to make a Salisbury steak and um, mashed potatoes and green beans or asparagus. I haven't decided yet. I also picked up some ground chicken to have in the freezer. I got some um, Cascade dishwasher pods. I wasn't completely out, but I was really low. And then I picked up the game's laundry pods. I usually use Tide, but they didn't have any. So I grabbed what I could, and this was like one of the last two. And then Sprite. We picked up some Sprite. We don't drink a lot of soda, but I do like Sprite. It's, it's decaf, um, and I can mix it with other juices. So we drink a lot of Sprite. And you know, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, the extra sweet sweet tea is another staple of what we drink quite often, and you can mix that with other juices. I got a couple Red Baron pizzas because my children go through them really quickly. Um, or they shop from our home and take them with us. But my children like those Red Baron pizzas, so I always try and keep three or four in my freezer downstairs. I picked up some chicken drumsticks and thighs. I'm going to marinate this and put it on the grill. I also picked up some Mrs. Paul fish sticks. We like those during the day. Those work really well um, since my husband is working from home. It's a nice way to add a little something different to his lunch menu. And then I picked up some cooked shrimp, um, wild caught cooked shrimp, which one, the jumbo 13 or 15. We're going to batter those in a beer batter. Um, and that'll probably be a lunch as well. I re-upped on my coffee. I got my organic Peruvian. I got my caribou medium roast and I got my Dunkin Donuts, the original blend. So those are what I use along with the Chesapeake um, whole beans. We'll ground those and um, that's an excellent cup of coffee. I also picked up a coffee, Cafe Du Monde. My husband was feeling, uh, I guess, a throwback to when we were in New Orleans and um, he decided he would like a Cafe Ole. And Cafe Ole is just simply a very strong coffee half a cup of very strong coffee and a half a cup of milk so we will be doing instead of lattes we will be doing some we will be doing some cafe au lait here as well I got some uh, cranberry ocean spray has a new flavor out uh, cran tropical I never had it before so I'm looking forward to trying that I enjoy this kind of thing and I can mix it with my sprite and it's even better same thing here with the orange, what is this, pineapple, orange, and coconut. That and some Sprite. We'll see. I've never had it before. And then, of course, one of our staple drinks also is the strawberry lemonade. We mix that in with the tea. We put that in with the tea or with the Sprite. Either one. It's really good. If you haven't tried it, try that. I mean, they're good on their own, but they're really good mixed as well. Um, I got some um, butter flavor syrup. I also got a couple canned goods. I got some Mexican style pinto beans and corn. That's going to go in my pantry. Uh, I picked up some French style green beans, and those will go in the pantry as well. I picked up some chili beans. I'm going to be making some chili here, um, some crockpot chili uh, in a few days. So I got some um, mild chili beans in a sauce. I usually do a three bean chili. So I will be adding the light red kidney beans and I will also be adding black beans. So that's going to be good. I also picked up some enchilada sauce because I can never have too much of that um, when I make enchiladas or even sometimes when I make tacos. I will need the enchilada sauce and same thing for the refried beans and I also got last but not least I got a four pack of paper towels pick a size I did not get toilet tissue this time um, because it was like twice the price it was like how many packs was for $14 12 equal 24 rolls of toilet paper was going for like $15 so I decided that I will wait until we go to Costco's and pick up some from there. But that's about it, guys. So I'm going to put all these groceries away and then I am going to start to cook.
Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you enjoy this type of content, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you come back and tune in. I upload new videos every week. And at the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And on that note, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here in my next video. Bye.